my name is Willow and I am going to take you to a different environment that I have where I do a lot of testing and show you some of the things you can do with your objects once you've created them. So we hit on area and then environments and go to my flatland, close this. As you can see, I have a bunch of items strewn around. I use this area mostly for test bedding, different products, and different things that we're doing. Now, the first thing I'd like to show you is our atmosphere controls. So I'm going to pan out a little bit here. You notice the shadowing again. Um, under area, skyboxes. You can change the skybox to pretty much anything you want. Uh, there's quite a few different variations already in the catalog. I'm going to choose Gentle Hills. Good. Now, let's find the sunlight. The sun seems to be coming from there, so it's a little bit off from where I am. All right, let me close this. And then we go to Atmosphere. Now in the Atmosphere, you can change the sunlight and the direction of the sunlight. I think the yellow is a little too stark. The light here is a little more blue. Hmm, that might be too light. It's a little darker. No, that's not good. <laughs> You got to play with it a little bit until you get something that you like. If you are creating a layout that has everything, all the products already in place, that's a handy tool to have. You can sell it with the skybox and the light already set up the way you want it. So, and I'm not digging that, so we're going to lighten this or darken this a little bit. Uh, it's going to a little more. Deeper blue tone here. There we go. That's better. Okay, scroll in. Now, I believe you were working on a metal sofa. So we go into our inventory under area. And you want to pick on the objects tab. It loads as you uh, scroll down, so it's light, a lot lighter on the system. So if you only need something that's at the top, you're not loading everything in your inventory at once. Okay, let me get the right product here. So there you go. Metal sofa. All right, let's place one of these. Okay, and there's our options. If you let, left click on an object while in area mode, you get the options to make changes to, the, to it so you can move it around which automatically attaches it to your mouse. Scale it. Reset. This will automatically remove the item or duplicate it. And duplicate it again. Let's do a couple of these. Now, parenting is one of the very, very brilliant ideas that Tim came up with for our products. You can place an object on top of an object. But if you move the bottom object, the top one stays in place. Now, as an exaggerated uh, example of this, you can have a house placed on this property, fill it with all kinds of goodies, your furniture and wall hangings and everything else, and then decide, I don't want the house in that location. Move the house and everything will move with it. You don't have to move each item individually. There are also advanced options using one, two, and three on your keyboard. You have one for movement. Oops, if I don't hit it incorrectly. <laughs> so one for movement. Uh, let's hit the bottom one here. Uh, two gives you rotation. three different directions and four 
gives you scaling. And I want to skip that again. Sorry, three gives you scaling. So one of the handy things about that, depending on the product that you're using, we use this one over here, hit three. And now we have a chair made out of the same object that the sofas are made in. So now, of course, it does do a little bit of warping when you do that on the model. So not everything would be uh, would look proper if you did that. Now let's reset this over there. Reset, and we're back. Okay, so now I have four of these, and I don't necessarily want to remove all of them. So I just click on one and hit remove. However, what if I have all of these in here and I decide I don't want them all in here? Well, instead of removing them one by one, you go back to your objects, find it in your inventory, click there, and then click the remove option. This actually removes every instance of that object in your environment all at once, leaving the rest of it still available. Very handy little tool. Now, as you can see, I've kind of got a mess going on here. I've got a lot of objects just kind of laying around. So I want to clean this up. Now, instead of having to click, remove, click, remove, and do it for every single object, I can go into environments, choose the environment that I'm currently in, and clear area. This will literally clear all objects immediately out of the area. All nice and clean. And this is really handy if you're trying different design ideas or if you have uh, any objects in your room that uh, perhaps you brought into the client or brought into the client after editing it and it's broken uh, and you're not sure which one exactly is broken or you just have multiples of them and you just want to clean them all up. So very handy tools. That is our video. I hope you enjoyed your time. There's a lot more still available to you. Uh, we hope to see all of you on Nivera Online. And if you have any further questions, we're always available in the forums. So definitely come and visit us at niveraonline.com.